friendly bee. Ah! Ever feel like you're just a mindless worker slaving away day in and out just to keep a roof over your head? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the five most intriguing facts about your friendly neighborhood bee. Bees? But not those super badass Africanized ones. Oh yeah. Number five, bees can reverse age their brains. Ever feel like old age has suddenly crept up on you? Researchers think that bees may hold the key to reversing the inevitable effects that aging has on the brain. Generally, old bees forage for food while young bees take care of the larvae. However, when scientists tricked old bees into doing the work of young bees, they found something interesting. After just a week of performing the more gregarious activity of caring for baby bees, the older bees showed a dramatic change in their brain chemistry. Not only did they increase their ability to learn new things, but proteins were found in their brains that are known to combat dementia in humans. While any medication from these findings is in the distant future at best, researchers suggest that simply taking part in more social activities may give our brains a jumpstart towards rejuvenation. To the Beemobile! You mean your Chevy? Yes. Number four, bee venom is joining the fight against AIDS. In 2013, scientists at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis designed a way to attack HIV cells using a powerful toxin present in bee venom. Ow! Ow! Oh, they're defending themselves somehow! The toxin, melatonin, is loaded onto nanoparticles and has proven effective at fighting a range of viruses, such as HIV and even tumors. The secret is its size. The nanoparticles are so small that they bounce right off of normal healthy cells. Conversely, when they come into contact with the virus, which are much smaller than the particles themselves, they poke holes into the protective envelopes around the virus. This enables the body's own immune system to fight it off. Researchers are hopeful this could lead to a preventative AIDS vaccine, as well as a treatment for current AIDS patients. Number three, caffeine makes great worker bees, cocaine makes great liar bees. Most college students have pulled their fair share of caffeine-fueled all-nighters, but they aren't the only ones. Studies show that caffeine actually improves the memory of bees. This is an advanced adaptation by plants, which encourages pollinators, such as bees and butterflies, to make return visits. This provides the insects with food and the plants with a way to distribute their pollen. It's a win-win. On the other hand, cocaine may provide the illusion of doing a great job, but don't be fooled. When provided with cocaine, bees experienced a very familiar high effect. <laughs> It excited them to the point of what you might call lying. When dancing to inform other bees of a food source, their movements became exaggerated and the quality of the food was overstated. Hey, does this coke smell funny? Oh, <laughs> Michael. Oh, that's Number two, bees might be smarter than you. I'm not a smart man. Though a bee's brain is only about the size of a grass seed, they're able to accomplish some pretty amazing things. While the dance that bees use to communicate may not look like much, it's actually the most complicated use of language by an animal outside of the primate family. Bzzz. We'll see who brings in more honey. Their bee boogie is able to relay specific, detailed information about the location and quality of food. The language is so complex that Carl von Frisch won a Nobel Prize in 1973 just for deciphering it. In addition, bees can easily solve a math problem that stumps people, and some computers. The so-called traveling salesman problem involves finding the shortest possible route between a large number of locations, and bees are naturals at it. No matter what order flowers are found in, bees always know the shortest way to get to all of them. Number one, it takes a lot to make honey honey. For a hive to survive over the winter, it needs to have anywhere between 20 and 90 pounds of honey, depending on its size, the climate, and other factors. That may seem like a lot, but during the busy summer months, a hive may be home to up to 60,000 bees. They need that many bees because a typical honeybee will create only one twelfth of a teaspoon in their entire lifetime. That's less than half a milliliter each. To produce a 12 ounce bottle of honey, it would take 288 bees working full time all the way until they die. This is as fresh as honey could possibly be. So the next time you drizzle honey over something, reflect on all the hard work and sacrifice that went into making it. And just in case you're wondering, honey is made from flower nectar that bees eat, regurgitate, eat, and repeat. Enjoy your peanut butter and bee vomit sandwich. Ah, I feel we have made a terrible mistake. So does that revelation change your opinion about honey? Oh, honey, honey, do, 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 do. For more beautiful top tens and barf-tacular top fives, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You never got a chance to see my bee business, take a...